Good morning. Um, excuse the way I look. It is a little after eight o'clock in the morning. Um, this little guy would not allow me to continue sleeping. So we're up. Um, I know I said I was going to do a sit down kind of video um, on my off days when I work. But honestly, I decided that I wanted to do a vlog. I've been watching a couple vlogs. I really love vlogs. I may not be the best at them, but I said I wanted to do one. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a, a vlog. Um, I did sit down when I got up, when, you know, when I finally admitted defeat and that he wasn't going to allow me to continue to sleep. I got up. Um, I just went over my to-do list, um, made sure that everything that I needed to do was on there. They're not in order. Um, they're not in order, so I am um, going to just kind of go through it and get some stuff done. So let's get up. Let's start the day. I'm so not enthused. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure how much of the B-roll footage will actually make it into the video. Um, I just kind of put the camera on and just let it roll. So we'll see what happens. Um, excuse the way my floor looks. If it does get in there, Mr. He finds paper, anything, and he has just shredded it and it is all over the floors. Um, I had to like actually open the blinds I usually just open them but I actually had to like pull them to the side because he jumps on the windowsill a lot and he's already broken one of the blinds in the hallway window and that is just something I don't want to have to deal with so since I can't seem to get him to stay down from the windowsill I am just hoping that if I open them, he, you know, will be 
satisfied with sitting in the window. <sighs> we'll see. But I've got um, some water going for some tea. Speaking of water, the water was like really cloudy. And I drink that water and my cat drinks that water. <laughs> so I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I actually, I have a pitcher that I fill up with water and I put into the refrigerator because I can't drink warm water, except for apparently when I have tea now. Um, but I don't know how I feel about that. I'm trying to avoid buying bottled water, but I think, you see, he's back up there. Um, I think I might have to go back to buy a bottled water because I did not like the way that that water looked. Um, but anyways, I also have some dishes in the sink that I need to at some point get up and clean. Um, but yeah, so my water is done for my tea. I am going to grab my tea um, and then I'm going to start working through my to-do list for the day. Okay, so update, uh, THD2 has a title. Um, now I know if you follow me on Instagram, I released a cover for THD2 back when it was supposed to release last year um, with a title on it. So you're probably like, THD2 already had a title. Well, it did. However, as I have been writing this book, um, the title just didn't feel right for me. Um, yeah, it just didn't feel right. So I scrapped calling it that, which is why we still continue calling it THD2. I scrapped calling it um, by the title. So um, I think we're gonna change it. Well, not think, I know we're gonna change it. I've already decided, I've, it's written down. I've settled on the new title. Um, I think it works so much better uh, than the previous title that I had. That was one of the things that I had on my to-do list. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down and play around with covers. Um, also THD, this THD one, uh, one shot, two shots. So <laughs> one shot, two shots is um, going to get a new cover and that means that THD2 is gonna get a new cover. So I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna put the title on there and see how it looks. Um, I think I might, because I wanna share the cover with just a few select people, just to kind of get some feedback, which it's so funny because I was watching old videos that I did and I noticed that there was a video where I made three mock covers for one shot two shots and I shared them and was asking for feedback and I got really good feedback but apparently um, I'm stubborn no not apparently I know that I'm stubborn and so I ignored the feedback and I went with the cover that I wanted to do <sighs> which was probably not the best uh, decision while I still really like the cover I don't think it translated the way that I wanted it to and people don't really get what the cover is unless I tell them so I think it's time to do a makeover for uh, the hood diaries we're gonna do a makeover so um, I've already last night was actually working on covers um, I think I found something that I really like, but I do need to share it and get some feedback before we settle on it. And I don't want to share it on here um, or on Instagram because that would negate doing a cover reveal if that is the cover that I end up going with. So I think, um, I, think I might want to set up Patreon for things like this where I have my cover and I want to do like a sneak peek with a few people. I don't know. Or maybe I just reach out to the people that I want to share the cover with and be like, hey, what do you think? <sighs> I, I mean, I shared it with my mom and my sister last night, but I think I might want to add a couple people into that just to kind of get some feedback. So uh, we shall see. But yeah, so that's my next thing on my list is to um, play around with the cover idea right now. These are all things that I used to do before releasing because it kind of, it makes it feel more real to me as opposed to just a passing idea. Title, cover, uh, release date, log line, like before like actually writing or while writing because it just makes it feel more real to me and it's just something that I haven't done in a little bit so we're gonna get back to that so uh yeah next thing on my list is to do the um 
the cover or even if it's not the gonna be the permanent cover a mock cover just so it feels real to me that um in august i'm gonna be releasing my fifth book <laughs> i will talk to you guys soon update um so not much time has passed it honestly didn't take very long because of the fact that i did play around with um i hope you can't see it in my glasses <laughs> i did play around with the cover for one shot two shots last night and then it kind of made me play around with the cover for it, thd2 um so yeah so i just put the title that i've chosen on this cover i really like it <laughs> I really like it. I really liked the last one too because it was a theme that I wanted to go. But since we can't really go with that theme, I mean, we could, but in a different style. Um, I'm just doing something different right now. I really, really like it and I wanna share it, but we're not gonna share it yet. I will get some feedback some, and I will honestly take the feedback this time. I will ignore it with my stubborn self that I am. Um, yeah, but I really like it. Speaking of stubborn, right? I don't like to spend money. <laughs> if that me making my own covers is not um, obvious, then I don't, I don't like to spend money on anything. Like there is things that I still need in this apartment. I don't know if you can see um, or if you guys saw, I don't even have a garbage can in my kitchen. It's not like I can't get a garbage can, I just, don't want to spend the money on the garbage can. I need to get one because of Mister. But um, yeah. Anyways, I keep getting an alert that my Google is to the max. Like I've used up so much space, and it would be wise of me to buy more space. And I tried deleting what I don't need anymore to put it off. It did not work. I only freed up like a tiny tiny bit of space and I need more than that so I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and actually purchase some more space I don't want to but that seems like that's what's gonna happen so I have a new title I have a potential cover and you guys I have a release date <laughs> I chose a release date for um THG2 so um, yeah, so we have, don't, don't do that. It was a joke. <laughs> so we have a release date instead of just saying in August. Um, let me know if you guys want me to start really revealing this stuff to you. I don't know, but yeah, so we have title, cover, release date. Um, I think I'm going to work on the, um, blurb just a little bit. Um, just so in my mind, I know exactly what this book is about, even though we're like, about 80% done with drafting it. I still kind of feel like I need to make sure that I know the direction that this book is going in. So we're, we're going to work on um, blurb and log line. So yeah, I will give you guys an update in a bit. Why are you so far away? <laughs> okay, so. I hope you guys can hear me from that angle. Excuse my mess. One of these days we're gonna clean. But um, so I have finished the log line for THG2. It's a little shaky. It's not that great. I need to work on the blurb now. But um, we're making progress, so I think that that's something. This is probably the worst tea that I um have ever had. <laughs> it is not tasty. I don't think any amount of sugar is going to change that. So we'll move on. This is my breakfast. Um, this is my life. I'm sorry that you guys are so far away, but hopefully Mr. doesn't get on the table because then I'm gonna have to move with my tea because he's gonna try to drink it. But yeah, so we're gonna try to work on the blurb a little bit. And he's up. <laughs>
Oh, um, the blurb is done. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. These are all, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I need to like share with other people to get their feedback on. Um, I'm not really sure about. So, um, I swapped out my tea for some soda because yeah, it was just so nasty. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So the blurb is done. I feel like I need to, for this, maybe the first time ever, like share it with somebody to kind of like get some feedback on what they think. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna move on. It is time to start drafting. I have been doing all of the other things that I wanted to do to get uh, ready for like really writing and feel like I'm going to release a book. And I'm going to admit, I am feeling it. I, I have a release coming in August. Do you guys wanna know when in August? <laughs> I will release that date very soon, but. I have a book coming in August and I don't know how to feel. I think I'm nervous. So we have to finish this draft so that we can get read-throughs and edits and hopefully beta readers. I don't usually get beta readers no matter how much I post about it. Um, so, you know, but we're still gonna try. We're always gonna try. So yeah, let's get to writing. I had to reboot my laptop. It was running very slowly. Like, I don't know what was going on, but it was going so slow. And I was like, I can't write like this. <laughs> so I had to reboot it. Um, we're doing fine now. I am currently working on chapter 32, which will be the final chapter in THD2. Um, I jumped around, so no, those other chapters in between <laughs> that needs to be completed, they're not done. But I did jump ahead to chapter 32, mainly because it had the most words at the moment. So I wanted to like expand on it and see if I can complete it. Um, it's still not complete. This is probably one of my hardest chapters to write because this last chapter is the funeral of the person that we lost at the end of book one, at the end of one shot, two shots. Um, this is the funeral. We are going to be revealing the person who passed away. And um, so the other chapters does one point of view. Um, it does, each of the character has their own point of view. This chapter is more the author's point of view, not me, the author of this story, if that makes any sense. Um, this is their point of view, so, but it's including all of the characters that survived. So that's just, I'm just trying to figure out a way to like include everybody and make sure that I fit everybody in. I feel like something is in my eye. If you guys see me squinting, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now is just trying to um, make sure that I include everybody, that nothing seems repetitive, um, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I haven't eaten anything other than that cookie and I didn't even finish my tea. So I did wash. 
the dishes that were in the sink. I think I'm going to go and try to make me something to eat. Um, I have my uh, robe on because it's cold out here. And yeah, so maybe I'll go and make myself something to eat and we'll go from there. Okay, so sorry about the bad lighting. I haven't even opened my blinds in here, but I have had my breakfast, um, so I am satiated. I've relocated to the bedroom solely because my phone was about to die and my charger's in here, as well as my laptop charger. Now, I could very well pull the stuff into <laughs> the other room with me, but I'm just being too lazy to do it. So I just carried everything back into the bedroom, Plus it's warmer in here, so that's that. So we're going to get some writing done. I'm back and forth on whether or not I wanna time myself to get the writing done. I'm not sure, but we'll get some writing done. I've had my breakfast, Mr. has had his, I don't know where he is at the moment, probably under the bed, but yeah. All right, so I am still writing. <laughs> I'm still writing chapter 32. I just wanted to come on and give just a, a quick update. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos, so that's why my phone was um, starting to die. But um, yeah, so I am, <sighs> I'm getting closer to writing the actual funeral scene. I'm still working the scenes that kind of happened before him. But I am getting closer to writing the funeral scene. Um, I've been taking little breaks here and there in between writing. Like I'll write a couple sentences and then take a, a little break. So I feel like that's why it's taking a while. It is 12.30 right now. And I feel like I probably should have made more of a progress. And I haven't. So we will, we'll keep pushing along though. I will we'll keep pushing along and see what happens. I don't know how I feel about you sleeping, considering the fact that you woke me up at six o'clock in the morning. And now I'm awake and I'm working and you're taking a nap. And you don't care. <laughs> so this is what I'm dealing with. I, anyways, I am still getting work done. Um, if you can, uh, nope, don't read that. <laughs> There's a couple names that's mentioned in there, but <laughs> we will move away. Yeah, so I am getting work done. Um, I just didn't turn the camera around to face me. And then you guys get to see Mr. who is sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Just enjoy this video of my very adorable cat who did this to me. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? He's so cute. You're so cute. 
You are so cute. Don't bite me. You are so cute. So, so, ow. See, I can't even play with you without you wanting to bite. Pew. Pew. <laughs> Pew. Say hi to the people. Could this be a sign that the snow is trying to melt? <laughs> and that we're not gonna get any more snow. I don't want any more snow. So hopefully this is a sign that it is going to melt. Okay, so it is almost two o'clock. Um, I have done a location change. I am out in the living room now. I've only been out here for like two seconds and I immediately had to put my robe back on because I'm cold. Um, I got through chapter 32, it's done. It's over 2,000 words. Um, let's see, I have it written down over here. Um, 2,064 words is chapter 32. I have chapter 23 pulled up, but I'm gonna be honest, you guys, I, I'm beat, I'm done. I woke up earlier than I planned to because of Mr. over there had me up at six o'clock this morning and I just wasn't really feeling it. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I'm tired. I feel like I did a lot today though. I feel like I did a lot. We got a lot accomplished, just not as much as I would have liked. Um, especially because I am gonna be going out on surgery in a couple weeks and I don't know Really, if I'm going to be getting any work done while I am recovering, I want to try, but I'm unsure. So I think instead of my days of work when before I was working on GF1, I think um, instead I'm going to go back to working on THD2 and just try to get um, this completed so that I can focus on GF1. I want to put this to the side before I sit down and do my read through. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I want. But yeah, so I think, um, I think I might be calling it for the day. I think I want to take a nap um, around four o'clock. So I was planning on stopping at four o'clock because I have a video that I need to edit for one of my other channels. Um, and I was gonna get myself ready so that I can go pick up um, my mom because she's gonna come over and she is going to cook dinner. So uh, that was the plan. I was gonna go until about four o'clock, but honestly, I think I want to stop and take a nap. I am sure that Mr. will lay down and take a nap with me because he was laying down just a little bit earlier. He like literally a couple minutes ago, he was laying down trying to nap, but then I got up and tr tried to change locations and he followed me and even changing locations is doing nothing for me, for me right now. So I have been working since eight o'clock and it's two o'clock. I feel like I got a lot done. So we're going to say that today was a success. However, I'm beat you guys. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> I am gonna close this vlog out now. I didn't really greet you guys in the beginning, I don't think. So if this is your first time here, my name is Taquanda Taylor. I am a self-published author. I have four books out right now. The Five Sisters and The Hood Diaries um, are two series that I've started. If you wanna follow along with my journey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.